I have a tip for you in researching the formerly enslaved or former enslavers. Do reach out for my bio if you're interested in a family history or mystery price quote. I had a recent client case where Buck Walton shows up near Geneva, Georgia in 1867 registering to vote. By 1870, he's a landowner and really building a good life for himself. But the question for many African Americans is, where were they prior to that? Well, the first thing I noticed was there were a lot of men around the same age with the surname of Walton, registering to vote in 1867 in that small town. Probably not all brothers. So I did a search on the 1860 slave schedule for slave owners named Walton. Right there in Geneva, Georgia is a man who had 27 slaves and he was named Overton H. Walton. There's a very high likelihood that Buck Walton was enslaved by that man. Conversely, this may also work for people who are trying to find individuals who were formerly enslaved by their ancestors. Try looking on the 1870 census near where your slave owner ancestor lived and see what African Americans show up on the census with your family's surname. Sometimes it works and you can trace people.